cyberpunk. Who isn't playing this at the minute? I mean a lot of people because it's so f buggy. You can just clear them up yourself by, I'm not going to do it now, I've got the cap on because I don't trust myself in the viewfinder. You can basically just like go in and clear up any strays and like get your monobrow, which I definitely get on the regular. This is why people think I'm so weird. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be starting a new sort of series where at the end of every month I go through all of my monthly favourites. So things that I've just enjoyed and been using a lot throughout the month. So today I'm going to go through all of my favourites from January. So we'll just get straight into it. So I have a really hard time falling asleep on a night. I've been trying to find something that sort of helps me drift off a little bit. And one thing that I've found that I've been using every night since I bought it is the Feathering Down Sweet Dreams Pillow Spray. So this has calming lavender and chamomile essential oils and you basically just spray a good amount onto your pillow just before you're about to go to sleep it smells incredible and it really feels like it's helping i don't know if that's just a placebo because i can smell it but i seem to have been sleeping so much better on an evening and i finally got my sleeping pattern back on track where i sleep during the night and wake up in the morning where i used to be working on an evening and then sleeping for half the day which wasn't great but yeah this has been really helpful in aiding my sleep i'll make sure to leave a link for everything that i mentioned in this video in the description box below just so you know where i got it from if you want to purchase one yourself. Another thing that I've been using to help with my sleep is the Witted of Chelsea Dreamtime Tea. So I tried this a long time ago. I went to Comic Garden in London and bought some. I think I was probably like 13. And then I decided to buy a couple of jars of it a few weeks ago. So I just have a cup of this like a couple of hours before I go to sleep. And I think that with the pillow spray has really helped. Another drink that I've really been enjoying, which is the polar opposite of what I've just shown you, is the Kenko Salted Caramel Ice Latte. I know this is probably half the reason I am up all the time. But I tried these for the first time last year and all I've been doing in January is drinking these. They are absolutely delicious. Super easy to make. They just come in little sachets and you use 200ml of either ice water or milk. I like to use the milk because it makes them creamier. And you just mix it together, put some ice in there and you've got an instant iced coffee. I actually have a little blender and I like to put them in there just because I think it makes them creamier and helps them mix better. But you can just mix them with a spoon and they are delicious. Another thing I'm absolutely loving is this Cruel Deville stainless steel bottle. I just think the design is so cool. Cruel Deville is one of my favourite favorite characters. It keeps your water really cold for a long time and I think it's insulated for if you want to put hot drinks in there. It just says I'm through with all of you on the side of it as well and if that's not a mood in January I don't know what is. But yeah I just think this is really cute and I've been trying to drink more water and I just fill this up on an evening so it's ready for in the morning and then I just have it on my desk as well and it's easy to fill up. It's 500 ml so four of these and I've hit my goal for the day. I just think it's super cool, super convenient. I love the design so I bought myself one of those and I've been using it ever since. Moving on to makeup I actually bought this I think November time it might have been December but I've been using it a lot more in January probably because I've been filming more but I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour so this is the Too Faced Melted Pumpkin Spice Matte Liquid Lipstick I'm obsessed with the colour I think the packaging's adorable there's little pumpkin pies on the lid and it smells like pumpkin spice you literally can't go wrong the next makeup item is a mascara this is the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline I've been trying really hard to find a drugstore mascara that's quite cheap but works really well and this one is just incredible I really love the wand as well. It's like curved to the shape of your eyelashes. So it's so easy to just get up in there. And it's really good to just turn around and use on your bottom lashes as well. I'm not the kind of person who can wear false eyelashes either. They just aggravate me. So this is really good for like lengthening, darkening. And I'm really glad that I found it because I've been looking for a while. The next few items are just some skincare items. So I have been trying for probably the past year and a half to find a really good skincare routine. I've got really dry skin and especially in winter it's just horrendous. And I think I finally found one that works for me. So the first thing thing I use is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. I've been using this for a long, long time. This is always a staple purchase, but I just wanted to throw this in there just in case anyone watching doesn't have it, because if you don't have it, you need to go out and buy it. It's so cheap and it's absolutely incredible for your skin. As you can see here, I've just written when to use it. So morning skincare routine and evening skincare routine. The next thing is the Ordinary's Plant Derived Squalene. I only use this on an evening, as you can see there, it says PM. I use this after the Hyaluronic Acid and before my moisturizer, and this has just been an absolute game changer. I can't believe I've never used this before. I'm so glad that I found out about this product. After using that on a night, you just wake up with like the softest skin. It makes me so happy because I've just been looking for so long to try and stop me having dry skin. So this is the Natural Moisturising Factors Plus HA. As you can see again, I use this in the morning and then on the evening, I use this after the hyaluronic acid and after the squalene and just after the hyaluronic acid on the morning. But yeah, this has really helped with my dry skin. So if you suffer from dry skin, I would really recommend looking into the Ordinary Skincare. It's super affordable and really, really works. So look into it if you've got dry 
dry skin. So the next thing sort of falls into the skincare category as well. This one was a little bit of a splurge. I've been wanting to buy this for ages and I finally caved and bought it. It is a little bit on the pricey side. This is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in Honey. As I've got dry skin, I also have very dry lips and because it's been so cold this winter, my lips have just been horrendously dry. So I bought that and it has been so good. I've only been using it a couple of days. So I'm hoping the more I use it, the better my lips will get. But I've used it like two or three days and I can definitely tell a difference already. So I'm hoping if my lips get super, super better, then I can justify the price that I paid for it. The next one is a little bit random, but I found these so, so helpful. So these are just eyebrow razors. These are so good, especially at the minute, because obviously no one's allowed to leave the house. So instead of going out and getting your eyebrows whacked, you can just clear them up yourself. By, I'm not going to do it now. I've got the cap on because I don't trust myself in the viewfinder. You can basically just like go in and clear up any strays and like get your monobrow, which I definitely get on the regular. And it's super easy and they just get rid of all the strays really quickly. And it doesn't hurt like tweezing does. So definitely recommend. So the next one's a little bit random, but I've been absolutely obsessed with these since I bought them like a few months ago. And I've been using them a lot recently. So these are the Fabuloso Spray and Wear Sprays. So they basically just like freshen up your clothes. That makes me sound like I wear dirty clothes all the time. No, the reason I love these is once I've washed my clothes and put them back in my wardrobe, I like to just spray all of the clothes in the wardrobe just to make sure they're like fresh and smell good for when I put them on. And if you do want to wear a shirt like three times in a row, it's good to just spray your clothes with them, give it a freshen up, and then you don't have to worry about anything. But yeah, these are super helpful. They smell amazing and they're really, really cheap. So I can't complain. So the next thing you might have seen in my what I got for Christmas video, but these are just Dark Lord slippers. These are from Killstar, the part of the Creatures collection. And it's basically just Satan in his goat form, in slipper form. So I know that these look a little bit extra, but when I tell you they are so comfy especially because it's been so cold this winter as well my feet get so cold and i'm sat at my desk i find them quite hard to walk in because they're just so bulky obviously like look at the size of them they're just like massive but they just keep my feet so warm and they're so comfy inside they're just like so soft so yeah i love these i kind of want to see if they've got some more in the same collection so i can buy another pair or just buy another pair of these ones because i'm sure these are going to get worn out eventually speaking of how cold it's been this winter one of the things i've been absolutely obsessed with at the minute is fluffy blankets i actually bought this one as a Christmas present for somebody and then they'd already had one bought for them for Christmas so I just thought I'll keep it myself instead of sending it back but yeah it's like this lovely seafoam green colour and it's so soft and it just keeps me so warm. It's just so cold at the minute. We're talking like minus one, minus two. That's how cold it's been. So if I'm in bed and I'm really cold, I either put this on top of my duvet or I put it on my feet because they get the coldest. I should probably just start wearing socks in bed to be fair. Or I'll just wrap it around myself like this because it's just so cozy. So the next two things are actually TV shows. I've seen both of these before, but I started re-watching them and now I can't stop. <laughs> so the first one is Sex in the City. This is available on Now TV. I'm so happy. I didn't even know it was on there. And then I was just browsing I saw it and I was like, yes, we're gonna rewatch it from the beginning. I'm getting through it quite slowly because obviously I've got to work and then on the night I'm really tired, but I literally forgot how good this show was. It was really weird as well. So it's just been announced that there's like a reboot coming and I started rewatching it an hour before that got announced. I was like, I must be psychic. But yeah, if you've not seen Sex and the City, you should watch it. I just love it. Samantha's my favourite. I'm really sad she's not coming back for the reboot. I love like the friendship aspect of it. The whole New York thing is just, oh, I just want to live there. Because it just looks so aesthetically pleasing in Sex and the City. It's probably not like that in real life, but it does make me want to travel there just to see it. And the second TV show that I've been watching a lot of recently is The Real Housewives of Orange County. So I remember I used to watch this after school on a weekday and I resubscribed to Hear You on Amazon Prime and I saw that all of The Real Housewives I can't remember was on there. But I started from like season three because that's when my favourite housewife comes into it. So I've got to her last season so I don't know if I'll end up watching anymore but I've just been obsessed with it. I know that it's like trash TV and it's probably not even real and scripted but I just can't stop. It's just easy to watch and I love it. So the next thing are Bath and Body Works wallflower refills. I don't actually have a wallflower. I did but I put it in a plug converter because obviously I'm in the UK and the wallflowers are made in the US so they don't fit in our plugs and it started smoking and then just stopped working. <laughs> So I think I might have blown it, like blown the fuse inside it or something. I've only got two of these left. So I've got Marshmallow Fireside, which if you've been watching for a while, you know is like one of my favourite scents from Bath and Body Works. And I've got Pumpkin Cupcake. I've had this literally since October and just not used it. So I'm sure you're thinking, so how are you using them if you blew your wallflower up? Well, I did a little hack. So I already had one of these, which is an Airwick plug-in and it has three different scents in it. And it just comes like this with the scents in. This one used to be a Merry Cookie one I think it just came like that. So what I did is I took these little tops off and then refilled them with the Bath and Body Works one and it works a treat. So these currently smell like pumpkin cupcake and it's delicious. 
But yeah, if you're in the UK and you want to use the Bath & Body Works Wallflower refills, just buy some and then buy one of these and just DIY it. And then your whole room will smell like pumpkin cupcake. And the last thing that I have been absolutely loving in January, I actually started playing this in December, is of course Cyberpunk. Who isn't playing this at the minute? I mean a lot of people because it's so f buggy. I am aware it's really buggy. I know. I've run into a lot of bugs whilst playing this game. I've had the game shut down on me. There's been bits where I can't complete missions because I've got to wait for someone to ring me and he won't ring me and I'm just sort of like walking about the city not knowing what to do. But I think if you get rid of the bugs and pretend they're not there it is such a good game. I think it's so well executed. The graphics are incredible. Keanu Reeves is in it. I know it's super expensive and I know that a lot of them have been like recalled and stuff but hopefully when they iron out the kinks and get rid of the bugs it will be like playable to everybody and I highly recommend playing it. When it's not buggy. I mean you can buy it now. They're slowly releasing patches for it to get rid of the bugs and stuff but yeah. Cyberpunk is my last favourite of January. I just love it. But yeah that is everything that I have been loving in January. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe below and hit the little notifications bell so you know when I upload. Comment below and let me know what some of your January favourites have been and I'll be back again next week with another video. Bye guys!